going to our first match between Glowrider Falls and Lichilepidopter Leviathan. First off for GRF is the Fancy Hell Unicorn. Oh boy, here's Mobula with Atten Lens Array in the center, paired with Artemis Light Flak, Flare Gun, and a Gatling. Their ally is the Aphaze, a Corsair piloted by Mighty Keb, a Lumberjack in the front, Gatling watches on both sides. And for Lechio Lepidopter Leviathan, we have the Bamboozle Moth. Judgment with front facing Lumberjack, Gatling watch on lower deck, paired with a Mortar. And finally, the GFA Flying Flounder. More traditional Mobula here Mercury Center, Dual Artemis, Light Flak and Gatling Gun, and already a phase is just using the tanky properties of the Corsair to <laughs> close the distance on the Flying Flounder. Uh, already uh, they're dead, is the Flying Flounder. Well, so that's rough for Triple L, the Bamboozle Moth. Not proving much dissuasion for the Corsair to rush down their ally. I uh, wonder if we'll be seeing more type, more play like this from the Corsair because it is such a a tanky ship. This is very it feels it feels like it'd be hard to stop a charging Corsair. So I think that's probably the correct way to play the ship because it only has one forward-facing weapon. So it's not the Corsair is not a very good attrition-based ship, and I think that's going to be it for the Judgment. Uh, it's not very good at long-range play. So I think what you really want to be doing and what we're seeing the Thrall ship here for Red Team is playing it very aggressively using Lumberjack in the front, not really to uh, take the entire fight just enough to provide a little bit of a little bit of firepower as they make their approach. And then once they close the distance, use the side guns, which are really where the, the meat of the Corsair is located. Now, both blue ships taking southmost spawn, giving them a little bit of distance to utilize their long-range guns. And also something to note here, typically Judgment, I'll switch to the Bamboozle Moth. Judgment is often seen as a very powerful long-range sniping ship. Uh, some common Judgment builds we see at war, like Lum Lumberjack, Minotaur, paired with maybe an Artemis, but in this case, uh, the Bamboozle Moth only brings one long-range gun, which is that center Lumberjack. So, Bamboozle Moth, the Judgment, actually bring the same amount of long-range firepower that the Corsair is. So, uh, in a more traditional set, a more traditional Judgment, Blue Team might want to to take a longer range, more conservative style of play. But considering Bamboozle Moth is kitted out with more close-range guns than long-range guns, uh, this is a more more close range center judgment. As Fancy Hell Unicorn and Bamboozle Moth going at, I suspect Fancy Hell Unicorn probably doesn't want to take this close range fight. I mean, as I just said, the Bamboozle Moth has both the Gatling Mortar and a Watcha, so as soon as that Watcha comes into arc, uh, we'll see, and gets rebuilt. Fancy Hill Unicorn's doing an okay job with the Artemis taking down some of the guns, but mortar shots coming in. Uh, Fancy Hell Unicorn one shot away from dying. And thankfully, Inkjet uh, shooting the Artemis on that red Mobula able to keep the Watcha suppressed so the Mobula does not die in the first volley. However, they are within next uh, armor break will be enough to finish them off. Now, Fancy Hell Unicorn has gotten the rear of rear of the Bamboozle Moth, forcing them to turn around. And it does have an armor break. It seemed that when the gunners was transitioning to light flak, shots coming in a little too late, so no permanent damage from the Babu's Moth. There goes some light flaks. Able to get a second, third point. As the Corsair and the Mobula and the, the Flying Flounder in the background, not really doing a whole lot. Unarmed light flak shots. Not a lot of damage. And as Fancy Hell Unicorn rejoins this fight, this is going to be tough. The Atmel Lens Array, which is that very 
stupid looking white line you see <laughs> protruding from from the red mobula. Yeah, that's looks this is looking to be a quick match. Lens array is a low power weapon, but it is very annoying because it's it's easy to track and it's has a very high rate of setting fires, so they can just kind of spam all your components and set a bunch of fires and force your engineers to well, e either keep up the chem spray cycles or risk losing your balloon, losing guns to the flames. It's very annoying, especially in longer fights where that fire damage can really, the fire stacks can really stack up. And here's the last stand for Lake Lepidoptera, taking center west spawn. Benzio Unicorn has the forward position and they are heavily damaged, so if blue team can knock down the red mobula's armor, they definitely could take this fight. Just a little bit of focus fire is necessary. Especially while the Corsair is still closing the distance, shots already coming out. Gatling hitting the, fla uh, the fancy Hell Unicorn. Lumberjack takes down their balloon using Drogue Shoot to stay in the air. And them off a little far for the Gatling to be fully effective. I think Watch is going to be able to finish off the armor and take them down. That's the first point. Faze rushing in. Going to go for a ram. No, going to uh, Broadside instead. Watch it coming out. Good disables. Gatling going to be able to take down their balloon. And now FaZe, here's the ram. Bumping Flying Flounder up. Hydrogen trying to dodge. And looks like Corsair not going to be able to get a fast kill here, unfortunately. So if Lepidoptera plays this correctly, this should be a second point in the opportunity for them to make a comeback. As Fancy Hell Unicorn has already spawned in. And Fancy Hell Unicorn, because they are kitted out for long range play, will be able to provide support without necessarily committing to the fight. Although I think Corsair seems. It seems like Corsair is safe enough that Mobula could choose to move in if they want to. No real risk of meat grinding is. Like he left off, just wasn't able to put out enough damage. Judgment was stuck in a repair cycle with their balloon down. Flying Flounder was getting outmaneuvered by the Corsair, so... I wonder if that was uh, Triple L's one opportunity to take back this match... ...during the power play, and already Flying Flounder taking a lot of damage. One armor break left for the Blue Mobula. Yeah, and that... ...might be it. Let's see, is there explosive damage? No. Flying Flounder gets the rebuild. Bamboozle Moth moving in on the Fancy Hell Unicorn. But is it too late? Yes. As it turns out, it is too late. Low Rider falls, taking the first match 5 to 0 against Triple L. And we are going to go set up our second game of the day.